to show you um, a, uh, a logarithm property. Um, and what this is, is you know, for, the, for an expansion of logarithms. And this is what we're going to call our um, multiplication. So an important thing um, with this property is one thing you guys notice, if I'm given any two values and I'm multiplying them, log equals u times b, what I can do is I can expand that logarithm to represent log, still the same base, a of u, plus log base, same base a of v. So let's take a look at actually a real example and see what that is. Let's say I'm given the log, log base 2 of uh, 40, 4 times 8, which you guys should know is the same thing as log base 2 of 32, right? Now remember, logarithms, what logarithms say is they're an exponent. They're saying 2 raised to what power gives me 32, right? That's all really logarithm is. It's, it's, what an ex, it's an exponent. So it's 2 raised to what power gives me 32? Well, we should know the answer for this is going to be 5 because 2 raised to the fifth power gives me 32, all right? So but let's use my expansion problem and see how this works. So if I was going to expand this, I'd do log base 2 of 4 plus log base 2 of 8, all right? Now, in this example, we can evaluate both of these logs. Log base 2 of 2, so 2 raised to what power gives you 2? We know that answer is 2. Plus log base 2 of 8, we know that answer is going to be 3. 2 plus 3 equals 5. So therefore, this is evidence that this property is going to hold true for any two values. All right, well, not that just because I did it once right doesn't make it true for other, but um, for this property, it's going to show that this is going to be true for all of them. So let's say if I want to give this, um, expand this problem, I can say log. Now here I don't have a base, so I wanted to remind you guys of when dealing with logs, if I don't give you a base, we are going to assume it's going to be a base 10. All right. So log base 10 of 3 plus log base 10 of x. All right. Here we have a natural logarithm. And if you remember about natural logarithms, um, they have a base e. So we're going to want to use the base e for these. But again, we don't need to write out that base. Um, here, though, I have a monomial times a binomial, which that's perfectly fine. We're just going to separate these as two different terms. So what I'll have is ln of 3 times ln of x minus 4. So that's how you expand a logarithm by using multiplication with addition.